and we're going to use the Spitfire wing we made earlier so to get a section through this we'll just select the center line and press the K key puts a plane in the wrong orientation but we'll soon cope with that down here we clicked the move grid turn it through 90 degrees V key and bring it close to us now using this section we're going to make our spline profile to model our wing spar before we do the clever bit we need to make a new spline profile for this section spline tool start back here and we don't need to be accurate for the demonstration as before we've got a round curve here we can sort that out select tool select our spline and then manipulate these handles and there we have our rough spline to work with so we can get rid of some of this clutter here now we've got various things here we've got a, this this is the one we really only need is the spline so we've only got the picture we don't really need it but uh, we'll leave that on I don't think that will bother us so here we have our spline to work with now what we need in this spline are some notches around the the spline curve for the stringers that need to be put in for the wing now I know that I would want one stringer to be right on the leading edge of the wing so that's where I'm going to put the first uh, notch in the spline right at this point here now I'm going to mark our center point with construction line because we're going to need that later so I'm going to put a line in at zero degrees so now to put our rectangle we choose the three point rectangle we're going to hold down the alt key and then click on the line so that the line is highlighted it our dimensions now especially the angles which we want will be referenced according to this line we've got highlighted now so we'll run along to the point where we want make sure you don't go further and highlight the, the spline because then it will reference it to the spline so we want to reference it to the horizontal line click and drag and now our our line here should be vertical with the dotted line so if we click and move out yes we see that the rectangle is lines up with the grid which is good so now we can click and we can change the dimensions one millimeter tab one millimeter return so we've got a rectangle the size we want in the orientation we want but not where we want it so we're going to select the move tool then move this rectangle up to the line and move it out so that it just pokes through 
the spline. OK, that's all good. Now we want a number of these around the spline in both directions, above and below. So I've decided to put 10 of these around the top and 10 around the bottom, 20 in all. So we're going to use the spline to create patterns. So we're going to use the move tool, then we're going to move along a trajectory, select the trajectory. Now if you see this single arrow pointing on the trajectory, you know we're in business. Move away so we can see all of the There we are. Now over here to the left, create patterns and pull the arrow. And now we'll pull it along to where we think. We'll... Now you see it's it's jumped up to the top one. Which is rather odd. So that's too far because if you've got a notch below it, it's going to cut off that tail part. So we'll stop it about there. Release. We've got a count of two in here. Change that to ten. left click and we see we've got one two three four five six seven eight nine ten and over here we've got a pattern generated now I'm going to use this one again but look what happens if you try and select it you have actually selected the whole the whole pattern which is not what we want so we've got to unpattern this right click and unpattern we can now Select that one, do the performance again, select the spline, create patterns and drag. Now you see what happens. So what we can do, I found, is to go as far as you can. But this time, of course, we only want nine. Because we haven't yet got this one. Got as far as that one. So I'm going to nine. And again, we're going to have to unpattern. Because we want to copy this one here on the spline. Now we just hold the control key down and drag another one. Ooh, it's getting a bit close. That, that's getting a bit too close. But for the purposes of the demo, we can see it. That's, that's too close there. That's going to fall off. But anyway, there we are. So if we want to turn these into notches we press the T4 trim key and we can trim everything out we don't want ah control Z Uh, P for pull, select 0 0.5 and there we have a wing section or rib if you will for our wing.
To make the whole wing of course you need several of these. Of course the when it tapers up towards the tip of the wing uh, there's going to be less space here to put the notches so you'll have to maybe cut down the number of notches. You'll have to maybe eliminate every other one and continue the notches from there to the tip. Anyway that's another problem. That, that might be another another video. So there it is. How to convert your wing into sections for the wing ribs. Hope you enjoyed that. Hope it's useful and I'll see you again very soon. Bye.